Good morning. My name is Molly Lefebvre. Today I would like to talk to you uh, about something that some of you may not be familiar with. I would like to share some thoughts about labyrinths. A labyrinth is a walking path that can be used for prayer and meditation. It is similar to a maze, except that it has only one path in and one path out. This is an example of a labyrinth that happens to be here at Community Church. During the Middle Ages, the traditional pilgrimage route to Jerusalem became more dangerous, so fewer people were able to make the journey. The church began to place labyrinths on the floors of cathedrals as a way to symbolically make the pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Probably the most famous of these is the labyrinth at Charters Cathedral in France. Today there are probably over 5,000 labyrinths in the United States alone. One may find them in schools, hospitals, prisons, churches, parks, camps, prisons, nursing homes, retreat centers, and even in private homes. They may be made out of several different materials. Uh, pavers and stones are two of the most popular. We are blessed here at Community Church that we have a labyrinth. Our labyrinth was built in 2014. It was paid for with many monetary donations. Barton's Landscaping Company donated the labor to build it. Phil and Julie Barton also provided the work and, and the plantings around the labyrinth. We are thankful to, to Phil and Julie, as well as all the other people who contributed uh, to the labyrinth. Our labyrinth is dedicated to the memory of Julie Kolonowski. She was our choir director for seven years, and she also was a piano teacher for over 37 years. She was loved by many, and she was very much missed. The first time I walked the labyrinth, I stood at the edge and looked at the center, which I knew was where I should end up, and thought, how am I going to get there from here? And you know, to this day, I still could not tell you if I stood at the edge but what route you would take. It occurred to me that I would have to make one step at a time. And then it dawned on me, the labyrinth is a metaphor for life. We can't see our future, but all we can do is take one step at a time. Each time one walks the labyrinth can be different. That's why it's suggested that that if you decide to walk the labyrinth, that you will walk it at least three times before you really make a judgment as to whether that's the way you would like to pray or not. People can have uh, many ways that they walk the labyrinth. They can decide if they have a problem that they hope God will make them help them solve. They can say a prayer. They can repeat Bible verses. They could repeat hymns to themselves. They can simply walk with an open heart. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to walk the labyrinth. May 1st is World Labyrinth Day. On that day, people at 1 o'clock their time all around the world will walk the labyrinth, praying for world peace and celebrating walking labyrinths. I would like to invite you to walk our labyrinth. It doesn't have to be at May 1st. It can be at any time. And I think it's an experience that you owe yourselves and will find very worthwhile. Thank you.